Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. Hi, welcome back to Unity with Pam. My name is Jamia, and I'll be interviewing Regina Ward. Miss Regina, do you mind if I ask you any questions? No, I don't mind at all. What is the name of your fashion line? My fashion line is called Look and Hook Fashions. And what we are, we're uh, crochet designers, so we design clothing and apparel and accessories out of crochet, out of yarn. Who inspired you? Well, my grandmother was my first inspiration. Um, you know, as kids, you know, you get in trouble a lot. And my sister and I used to get in quite a lot of trouble. So she'd make us sit and learn certain stitches before we can go outside and play. So we had to learn them and perfect them before we can go out and play. So we learned pretty quick. Where were you born and raised? Well, I am a military brat, so I was actually born overseas in Ankara, Turkey, and we traveled all over Europe and over to the Philippines and everything and into the United States. So I was raised a little bit of everywhere. Do you make, does, does crochet make your hands hurt? Well, it's actually kind of relaxing. I mean, people think because you're moving your hands a lot, they might cramp up, but it kind of keeps them lim limber and, you know, flexible and stuff. My eyes will get tired before my hands do. So. Do you have models? I do. I have five daughters, and sometimes they'll model my clothes. But a lot of people, when they actually see what I do have, then they'll, they'll want to, you know, get into modeling. So I'll ask, you know, the people around or little functions, modeling agencies will come to me and um, ask me to do, uh, could they wear some of my designs in their shows. And, and I, I let them. I enjoy seeing people with different things. May you show us some? Sure. Um, right here. I'm a repurposer, and I don't like to really throw things away, but as for my boots, used to be some sandals that broke, so I made some boots out of them. And um, these were actually made from some soles I bought from the store, so if somebody wanted to order anything, we just go get the size sandal, and we'll make the boots for them. And baby clothes that we do, dresses, christening gowns, and different vests, depending on your style, which you like. And you can kind of, you know, let me know what teams you like, and we can do your purses or hats or anything that you would like. So if you can think it, we can crochet it. I heard you have a twin. Do you and your sister have uh, different fashion lines or the same fashion line? We actually work with the same, but she has her, her style, a certain style that she likes, and a certain style that I like. But we kind of play off of each other. We help each other if there's something... If she likes that I do, then I'll do it for her and vice versa. How long does it take you to do your desires? Um, it just actually depends on when, you know, uh, what they want done. And um, it usually only takes maybe about a week. And I let them know, give me about two weeks just in case I have to make some adjustments. Do you give people clothes for gifts? I do. I do quite, quite a bit. I do. Um, I've always brought up that if you give, and that's how it all started. I started out me giving and taking to nursing homes and helping people with hats and their babies, you know, little gifts for them. And um, it just started and blossomed into a business. This has been a blessing for me. Well, thank you for coming and volunteering you. today. You're welcome, baby. Thank you for having me. After this commercial break, we'll have another scholar interview another guest. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoked fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they are a different kind of cable company, starting with not asking you to sign a contract? What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW. 
And we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Hi, my name is Tyra Anderson, and I'm going to be interviewing our mayor, Mrs. Teresa Tompkins. Well, hi. It's so good to be here with you. It's very good to meet you, Tyra. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yes, I'd like that very much. How long have you been mayor? I've been mayor about three and a half years. We get to serve four-year terms, and so I'm almost at the end of one four-year term, and then I get the opportunity to run for one more four-year term. What do you do as mayor? Wow, the mayor gets to do a lot of things. Uh, you have to represent the city, so if there's special events going on throughout the city, the mayor needs to be there. Also, the mayor presides over city council meetings where the business for, of the city is done. The mayor sets a vision for the city, so not just what the city will look like today, but will look like in 20, 25 years, so you have to be thinking ahead. And the mayor also recommends a budget for council's consideration, so it's a very busy job. Do you like being mayor? Actually, I really love being mayor. If I had known it was this much fun being mayor, I would have run for office a long time ago. It's just a lot of fun. It's very rewarding. Some days it's challenging. Some days it's frustrating. But it's very satisfying. So it's worth the journey. What's your favorite thing about being mayor? Being in parades. I really like the parades. And I also like, that's the fun stuff, but I also really like making a difference in people's lives because there are a lot of challenges sometimes and uh, it's hard to come up with the solutions. It's hard to come up with budget solutions. It's hard to come up with solutions sometimes to blight in neighborhoods. Sometimes there's crime in neighborhoods. Those are hard problems to crack, but uh, when you make a difference and you improve the situation, it's very rewarding. How many people live in Columbus? 198,000 people, so almost 200,000 people live in Columbus, Georgia. We're the 116th largest city in the United States of America, and we're the second largest city in the state of Georgia. What are your other duties as mayor? Well, as I said, I have to prepare a budget. Um, I have to preside over the council and uh, sometimes propose laws. Uh, but mostly I have to listen to the people of Columbus, Georgia, and also be their spokesperson. So I really have to understand the concerns and the needs of all 198,000 people and be prepared to communicate their concerns to city council, to the media, and, and to others. And it's all with the objective so that we can be a better city and everybody can feel a part of the city. What are some other exciting things about Columbus? Well, Columbus has recently been named one of the 100 best cities in the United States of America, and that's a great honor. We also have been named to have one of the 12 greatest man-made adventures on the face of the planet, and that is our whitewater course, because our new whitewater course is the longest urban whitewater course in the world. So we've had about 17,000 people go down it. We also have, of course, one of the largest military training bases in the world here in Columbus, and that's Fort Benning. So we've got a lot of good things going on in Columbus. We've got wonderful communities in South Columbus, um, in Bibb City. Uh, we have wonderful communities in East Columbus and all throughout Columbus. So it's, it's a very exciting time to be in Columbus, Georgia. We are what they call a mid-sized city, and this is the era of mid-sized cities. Thank you. After, it's, it was a pleasure interviewing you. Well, it was a pleasure being interviewed by you. After this commercial break, we will have another scholar from Wesley Heights Elementary School interview another guest. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. For more than 60 years, the Dairy Queen recipe for success has been simple. It's been a combination of hard-working people, great-tasting food, and tempting treats served in our establishments every day. Although a lot has changed in 60 years, some things remain the same. The smiles on children's faces, a treat for a good report card, close friends enjoying a great meal, and families spending quality time together. Here at DQ, we are always committed to treat you right. You to be a part of our ministry. 
This is not a put on, but this is a come on. And we come to share in our different ministries with our dance team, with our choir, and our TV ministry. And we're looking for great things to happen, great miracles to happen within this great thing to happen, great miracles to happen within this place. Come and be a part of the blessing plan. Hello, my name is Ronnie Joseph III, and I'm going to be interviewing our, our only Miss Pam Hovey. Thank you so from much. From Unity with Pam. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Ronnie? Good. Can, is it okay if I can ask you a few questions? Ask away. How did you get into broadcasting? Oh, I was trying to help my father uh, promote our church. And what's so intriguing about that is I was putting the onus on Move of God Ministries. And I ended up wanting to do unity and bringing the community together. And um, Mr. Virgil Thompson, who's the station manager of WYBU, called me and talked about having my own show. Ronnie, I thought he was joking, so I hung up on him. I almost missed my blessing. And so he called back, and he said, this is not a joke. This is for real, and big girl been here ever since. Okay. How long have you been in broadcasting? I've been doing broadcasting for nine years, and I love it so much. Have you interviewed anyone, any famous person? I have. I had the opportunity to interview Judge Lynn Toler. She was so much fun. I truly, truly enjoyed her. The Harlem Globe Trotters, uh, Judge Hatchet. Whew, we done interviewed some wonderful people. We interviewed people from Florida to Tennessee. Matter of fact, I'm interviewing another person, Ronnie. <laughs> have you ever interviewed someone in another state or overseas? I've never done overseas. But I have interviewed um, Mr. Teams, and he wrote about um, giving God an English voice. And so I got a chance to interview him at the Grand Ole Opry in Tennessee, and that was a lot of fun. Do you have a favorite person to interview? Actually, yes, I do. My father. You know, as a child, you always want to have the opportunity to ask your parents all kinds of questions, but when you're a child, you really can't do it. So, yes, I enjoy interviewing my dad. He's, he's a pastor, but he's hilarious. I get a lot of my personality from him. Is there someone you would like to, you would like to interview, but you haven't yet? One of my greatest mentors, and he is not living, is Dr. Martin Luther King. I have always wanted to interview him. He truly was the person who trailblazed and told us and showed us what unity is. He showed us that we could come together. It didn't matter about race. It didn't matter about gender. We could come together. And I am a product of his dream to be an African-American woman sitting here on television and owning my own show. That was his dream. It's my dream. I'm living it. And he's passed on, but I wish I had the opportunity to interview him. Where can we see your show? I air every Thursday morning at 6 a.m. on Fox 54. Also, every Monday night at 7 o'clock on WYBU TV 16, we have a website, unitywithpam.org, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere, I am there. I'm social media, and you can find me. Okay. After the commercial, we will have another scholar into you, somebody else. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoke fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. Three locations to serve you. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. 
West Georgia Health. So healthy together. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they were a different kind of cable company? Starting with not asking you to sign a contract. What if they actually listened to what you need? Instead of trying to sell you something you don't. And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW. And we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Hello, I'm Vincy B. Jones II, and I have the honor of interviewing our proud principal of Wesley Heights Elementary School, Dr. Evans. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you, sir? Good. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yes, sir. Question number one. Now that we are entering a new season and approaching a new day, what is the most rewarding aspect about your job? Okay. The most rewarding aspect about my job here as the principal of Wesley Heights is I'm able to interact with all the wonderful scholars that are here and the best staff. Question number two. With such a vast amount of experience in education, what are some key factors in preparing your, your scholars for tomorrow's opportunities? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to say this very quickly. The vast amount of experience would be because I'm old. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to tell you that um, the experience that you have, that, that I have, it uh, helps us each and every day to be able to accept whatever challenges that we have. It is important enough to be able to come with everything that we have and utilize it on a daily basis, the experience, um, being able to uh, collaborate just with the teachers, with the scholars, and with everybody, the community as well. Question number three. The, CRT, the CRCT's just around the corner. Tell the viewers about the plans that are already in place to help the scholars meet or exceed the standards. And I like the way you said that. They're going to meet and or exceed. And we have so much in place uh, that we do. We don't wait until the end. We don't wait until it's time for CRCT. What we do, we develop uh, the scholars when you all are walking through the door each and every day, beginning with day one of school. Uh, we also have a Saturday tutorial program that we are uh, implementing, and we wanted to start it earlier, but we started it uh, this month, and uh, we're going to continue it throughout this month. Also wanted to let you know that, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but you have an extra week to be able to study, because CRCT this year, because of all the snow days that we've had, uh, we're going to start it April 15th, and we will end it on the 25th this year. Question number four. Having a new partner in education, how has the Unity with Pam tutorial program impacted the scholars here at Wesley Heights Elementary School? Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know where to start. Uh, and I get emotional because it is just so much of a blessing uh, that I must say that uh, Unity with Pam, uh, all of her staff, and everyone that she has uh, brought here to Wesley Heights and being able to have this particular program has been so much of a great experience. It is uh, not just rewarding, but it is exciting. And all of you have done such a fantastic job. I'm so very proud. Thank you. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs, smoked fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites, and don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. Three locations to serve you. 
Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. For more than 60 years, the Dairy Queen recipe for success has been simple. It's been a combination of hardworking people, great tasting food, and tempting treats served in our establishments every day. Although a lot has changed in 60 years, some things remain the same. The smiles on children's faces, a treat for a good report card, close friends enjoying a great meal, and families spending quality time together. Here at DQ, we are always committed to treat you right. Welcome you to be a part of our ministry. This is not a put on, but this is a come on. And we come to share in our different ministries with our dance team, with our choir, and our TV ministry. And we're looking for great things to happen, great miracles to happen within this great thing to happen, great miracles to happen within this place. Come and be a part of the blessing plan. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they were a different kind of cable company, starting with not asking you to sign a contract? What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're wow. And we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Welcome back to Unity with Pam. My name is Kayliana. Today I'm going to be interviewing Derek Kincaid. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me. What made you become a meteorologist? Well, when I was uh, a little kid, I was probably four or five years old, and I saw somebody do the weather on TV, and I thought it was one of the coolest things in the world to be able to help people uh, plan out their day, talk about severe weather, track storms, and also be able to like talk about science, which is something that I really am passionate about and I enjoy. So it was a great way for me to combine both of those things. So I've always wanted to do it ever since I was a very young age and saw a guy that I look up to very much do it on TV. What kind of advice would you give to someone who wants to be a meteorologist? I would say for anybody that wants to be a meteorologist on TV, they need to have, number one, a huge passion for the weather and also a passion for people. Uh, talking to people, interacting with people. A large part of what I do is going out to schools and talking about severe weather safety with kids. Um, but you've got to have that mix of your science knowledge and the ability to communicate it to people at home because sometimes the weather can be a complicated thing and you want to make sure that when you get on television to talk about it that you're doing it in a way where everybody can understand so I would say that anybody that wants to do it have a passion for it be excited about it be uh, intense about the weather and wanting to wanting to help people and keep folks safe do you get scared in front of the camera I don't anymore, but um, I, of course when you first start off doing something like this, whether it's being on TV or talking in front of a bunch of people, you are going to be nervous, you're going to be scared, but um, the more that you do it, the better at it that you get and the less nervous that you're going to be. Just like probably with anything, if you keep practicing it, you keep doing something over and over again, you're going to be a lot better at it. Um, but I still do get kind of a little bit of butterflies in the stomach when there's a, a big severe weather event that we're talking about or if it's a, a big presentation or a big event that we haven't done before from interviewing somebody famous or something like that, there's still a little bit of nervousness or butterflies that you get. What type of education and training is needed to become a meteorologist? Well, to do what I do, you have to have a lot of science training as far as the weather goes, and you also have to have a lot of communications training, being able to talk about it on TV. So. Um, I went through school just like most kids do, and I uh, went to college at Mississippi State University, and that's where I majored in geosciences, earth sciences, um, and I concentrated in meteorology and telling the weather on TV. So it's a lot of science and weather classes, and it's a lot of TV classes and learning about how cameras work and how to put 
uh, news stories together and writing different things for television. And you combine those two things and you get TV weather. How long have you been a meteorologist? Well, coming up in September of this year, I will have been a meteorologist for 10 years. So I'm approaching my decade anniversary of doing the weather on TV. What is the hardest part about forecasting? I would say uh, the hardest part is when we have a really big weather event coming, whether it's a snowstorm or severe weather or hurricane, and being able to really communicate the impacts of that to the audience at home that is already going to be a little bit um, sometimes anxious or scared or nervous about this big weather event that we're going to have. So being able to calmly communicate exactly what we're going to expect um, and what can be a very difficult forecast sometimes when we look at different computer models that tell us about the weather that may not agree with one another. We want to make sure that we're able to clearly define for people at home what is going to happen and what they can expect. What do you like most about your job? It's something different every day. I'm always getting to talk about different kinds of weather. I'm always getting to talk to different groups about the weather. Um, and I'm not just stuck in an office doing the same old thing. So always getting to talk about new things. Thank you for letting me interview you. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now we'll have another scholar interview a different person. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they are a different kind of cable company, starting with not asking you to sign a contract? What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW, and we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoked fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. Three locations to serve you. Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org.